Emmanuel Macron ally Jean-Pierre Pont is demanding the European Union stands firm and refuses to back down on fishing in post-Brexit trade talks. The French politician insisted the EU must not compromise on fishing, an outstanding sticking point in negotiations between Britain and Brussels, to reach an agreement. But Mr. Pont, who represents Pas de Calais, also admitted no deal would be a disaster for the two sides. Mr. Pont said, fishing shouldn't be sacrificed or used for bartering. Every time Barnier speaks he tells us there will be no agreement if there's no agreement on fishing. For now this position is defended by the whole EU. A no deal would be a disaster, but also for the UK. Trade talks between the UK and the EU have been deadlocked over a number of remaining obstacles, including fishing. Britain is insisting it will hold the right to control who can fish in UK waters when the transition period ends on December 31. But the stance will likely result in a lower fish quota for European fishermen. The UK reportedly offered Brussels a three-year transition period in a bid to break the deadlock. The concession would see fishing quotas for EU trawlers gradually reduced between 2021 and 2024 to ease the effect that any loss would have on coastal communities on the continent. In a statement after the final scheduled round of talks ended on Friday, Lord Frost warned of major differences between the two sides on fishing. He said, on fisheries the gap between us is unfortunately very large and, without further realism and flexibility from the EU, risks being impossible to bridge. Prime Minister Boris Johnson held a video conference with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen on Saturday. Following their conversation, the two leaders tasked their chief negotiators with working, intensively, in a final bid to reach a breakthrough. Mr. Johnson insisted an agreement was still possible but urged the EU to accept the UK will take back control of its fishing waters. He told BBC's Andrew Marr show, I think it's there to be done. Alas, there are some difficult issues that need to be fixed. There is no question that the EU needs to understand that we're utterly serious about needing to control our own laws and our own regulations. And similarly they need to understand that the repatriation of the UK's fisheries which were lost in 1973 is very important.